for the trip I'm uh, just checking the oil uh, filling the water bottle and this is also the first uh, decent trip we've done since having the differential fixed so uh, fingers crossed that that's all sorted out now uh, we have uh, not got the roof box on instead we're using uh, this bike uh, carrier uh, and there's not a bike inside there it's loads of bits and pieces like the paddle board and paddle and uh, things um, for the beach car or the vehicles going back to the UK at the end of this month in July and uh, we're going to be uh, moving it on hopefully and selling it and moving on to our new camper. Hello! <laughs> you nearly ready? Well, finally we're fully packed ready to go and uh, we've got Joe in the front. i got the dog here. We've, we've got, got kids. Holly, my dog. Popsy got... and Izzy. You looking forward to going camping you lot? Yeah I really can't wait. All the campsites have been closed, haven't they? So it's nice to finally get away and uh, start camping again. Yay! So we're on our way to Melbourne. We're about two hours into the journey, aren't we? Yeah, it's been like that. Uh, it's about four and a half hours from where we live down to the port. Which is called Beyond Bino. supposed to arrive maximum 30 minutes before the sailing and it's just gone. Just gone. So the rush was worth it, the ferry was running uh, slightly behind. So they're just unloading the ferry that's come inbound from Elba now and uh, even though we'd booked the later ferry they really didn't care they just put us in the line for the next available crossing which was sensible and it's great because it means we're going to be able to get to the island and set up a bit earlier than what we thought so it's been a bit of a mad 270 miles <laughs> but uh, yeah but, yeah well, oh, well. We'd lovely to do a nice evening crossing now yeah Have that's right tea. it is baking hot it's roasting it's really brutal the sun so uh, the kids bless them we have not stopped for four hours and they haven't even asked to go to the toilet so um, I think they're overdue now we didn't give them the chance basically but they're okay hello 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 it's like the boat is Ooh. trying to eat us. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Cool. Right. Hopefully we can relax a bit now.
ride. And a perfect hill time. Yeah. yeah. We've just got off the ferry and it was a brilliant service. Uh, perfectly on time, no queuing, no faff or anything, it was great. So we've just started to navigate our way across the island. So we're going from the north of Elba, across the sort of like a mountain range. And then uh, we drop down to the south coast, which is where our campsite is. It sounds, um, well, it's, it sounds like a long way, but it's not. It's only 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers, 18 minutes or something. I'm loving these beautiful trees everywhere. Yeah. And somehow you got that vibe that you're on an island. Yeah. Here we go. We're in Lacona, I think. Yes, that's where the camps are. Look at that sign. Which screen's a bit rocky, isn't it? So. Still got your ticket. Oh, I've still got the ticket. Obviously, it's gone. <laughs> Boat ticket's just gone. This might be it. Camping centre. Maria. Tennis court, is it? Play tennis. There's oh, a park. There's a, a play park. Yay. You won that day. You won. Oh, there we go. Reception. 100 meters. Perfect. Reception. Still open. Look at them. <laughs> so we're very happy with our pitch, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. We reserved it uh, only a couple of days ago. And uh, I'm glad we did because the only one left, it seems, on the front. So I think this will do us. Let's get the levelers on this front wheel. Can you see it looks like it's going downhill yeah. a bit? Just pull it onto the levels, levelers. I think it's also leaning that way. See what I mean? Only arrived five minutes ago and they're already in the sea. And Poppy has given up finally. Fast asleep. Where's Mummy going? Going for a swim, isn't she? She's in. Oh, it's a hard life. week it's getting very warm probably as you'd expect late June next to the sea but we've just put the uh, purse of screen on to reflect the Sun and tell you we really needed it It was getting so hot inside the van so if ever you're setting a van up and you know you're gonna be coming somewhere pretty hot um, it's worth investing in one of these uh, uh, foil screens uh, it also makes it a lot darker inside. I woke up at about 6 o'clock this morning and uh, already by 7 o'clock it was getting a bit too warm to sleep upstairs. You know, it makes it a bit darker inside but already you can see it's a lot it's a lot darker but it's also a lot cooler. And we are in direct sunlight now. It's going to get hotter. So uh, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. We'll just keep going for a swim in the sea but uh, they've offered that if we want to we can go and park underneath one of these shelters. We're really enjoying uh, swimming out there. The temperature of the sea is fantastic. You can stay in all day long. It's not over commercialized, so it's just got a real nice vibe about it. Right, I'm gonna head to the sea again. So it's Candy Camper lunchtime. Everyone's roasting hot. We've just been for another dip in the sea. 
some of us are tired out and uh, what we've decided to do for lunch is a quick uh, hot dog uh, we've got some dried onions and uh, obviously some red sauce and we're going to cook them in the old ridge monkey and see if that works out nice quick easy lunch and then back in the sea again I think Ooh. Ooh. yummy is that nice Holly? You enjoying that holes? Is that yeah. good? Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Mm. Poppy's already on the yogurt. Mm. Hello, it's Izzy TV. And uh, we just had lunch and it was really delicious yeah. with sausages. Um, next, we are going back in the sea. Um, the sea is not even that cold. It's amazing. So, um... Let's get on with the video. Bye! To <laughs> <laughs> the beach. To the beach, isn't it? Yeah. And we are... Oh, muddy puddles! Either that one or that one. <laughs> no. Muddy puddles, as you say. Yeah. That's the um, island of Elba. And we are just there. Great kiddies bathroom area. Nice uh, toilets and adult showers. And an outdoor shower. Right, so what are we going to go and get now? Yeah! What should we get? Um, ice lollies. Ice lollies! Or ice creams? Ice lolly. Come on then, we've got to go to the bar for that. That's down this way. Oh, actually, look, what have you got there? Wait, um, what is it? Car. Cable car, yeah, because Holly loves going on cable cars, so we're going to have a look at trying to do that. Whoa. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. It's camping TV. Um, we are going for pizza. And the best kind ever. I'm gonna have margarita with Holly and Poppy. Um, as you know, we are on the island of Elba, and me and Mummy just went snorkeling for fish, and we saw loads. I saw one with a blue, a blue, orange, and blue pattern for its head. It was amazing. Chips, beer, wine. Oh, look at our view, isn't that lovely tonight? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You happy, Pops? For those that have seen a few of our episodes before, it's a little family tradition that we play donkey before we go to sleep at night time. You like playing donkey, don't you, Holes? Yeah. All right. And Izzy, tell us what happens then. How do you win at donkey? Uh, Daddy's always loses, so it's that easy. <laughs> What's the plan on Elba? Going on the cable car tomorrow, up to the mountain. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll go, if we can get up early enough, we can go in the morning before it gets too hot. Yeah. And then we might try and find a beach on the north coast. There's two beaches that we might go to. Yeah. And guess what happened to our water today? It all ran out. Somebody kept turning the tap Was that you, Poppy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you keep turning the tap on? To wash your dolly, didn't you? <laughs> oh dear, so now we've got a dry tank, so we're going to have to sort that out as well. Yes. In fact, tomorrow we can do that, can't we? As we're moving the van, we can go to the yeah. water point. Yeah. Right, so let's get on with Donkey then, and uh, we'll have a, hopefully you. a good night's sleep. Well, See you in the morning. It. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
So what's it actually like when you want to move and travel around in the California? You have to put the top down. Before I can put the top down, I've got to take the insulation off. Before I take the insulation off, I've got to retract the blind, ideally, makes it easier. But obviously the blind's got to come in anyway if we're going for a drive. Um, this fifth seat also needs to go back in. And obviously inside it's all got to be swiveled round in terms of the seats. So you're not talking about just five minutes, um, but uh, probably more like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. It's a compromise, but uh, you know, we are pushing the California to the limit with a lot of us in a tiny space. Uh, some of this stuff is true for a normal camper van or motorhome anyway. With the California, probably a little bit more work. Certainly a lot easier if you've got less stuff and maybe you haven't got the insulation and you're camping in such a hot place like we are. Then with kids, everything takes longer anyway, doesn't it? Is that right? Baba! Is that your Baba? Yeah. So, did you get bitten by mosquitoes? Yeah! Oh no. So there's a few mozzies around, so tonight we're going to have to rig up the mosquito blinds. So we're off, two nights here, and now we're going to find a new campsite for two nights, do a bit, ex bit of exploring of the island, and it's been lovely here being right next to the sea, mega hot, so I think our next spot will be under some shade, but it's been fantastic, great facilities, great location, great cafe and bar. So we're taking the opportunity to, uh, as we leave, just to dump the waste and uh, fill up with water. And actually, you shouldn't need to fill up with water after only two nights, because I filled the tank before leaving home. But of course, the joys of a two and a half year old who loves to play with taps. So she emptied the whole tank without us watching, straight into the waste tank. One of the things that can happen is that uh, if you don't get water when you think about it, when you arrive at the next campsite, um, you end up being so excited about arriving where you are and setting up. You set up and then you, you remember the water. And it's not easy to fill unless you've got a hose pipe. So I've tried it before with bottles of water, but it's a massive tank and it takes ages if you want to fill it. So try and remember to do it uh, as you leave, if you can. Before I sleep, hear the cricket see the Right.